What is the difference between drum brakes and brake discs? I have read your comments and I receive a lot of questions about drum brakes. In this video, I will try to explain you the difference between them. So next time when you will buy a car, you will know if you want to have drum brakes or brake discs on your car. Before diving into the difference between discs and drum brakes, it's important to know how a typical automotive brake system works. When the driver press the brake pedal, a device called it mass cylinder send pressurized brake fluid through a collection of lines to a caliper or wheel cylinder at each wheel. The caliper and or the wheel cylinder then activate the friction brake to slow the wheel and bring the vehicle to a stop. Depending on the system configuration, the friction brake may be either disc brakes or drum brakes. Now you have a basic understanding of how your car's brake system create friction needed to slow the wheels. Some vehicles use disc brakes to get the job done while others use drum brakes. There are also some cars that use discs in the front and drum brakes on the rear. And here we see examples in the last years on Volkswagen Group cars like ID3, ID4 and even Audi Q4 e-tron use drum brakes in the rear. The primary difference between disc brakes and drum brakes is relatively simple. Disc brakes create friction with a disc shaped rotor and a pair of brake pads whereas drum brakes use a circular drum and brake shoes. Of course, there are a bit more to it than that. Each brake drums or brake discs assembly contain a unique collection of parts that work together to stop the vehicle. What are drum brakes and how they work? Many vehicles have a drum brake assembly behind each of the rear wheel, as we probably see these last years on some electric cars and not only. An individual drum brakes operate as follow. When the driver activates the brakes, fluid from the master cylinders acts on the wheel cylinder. The wheel cylinder then pushes the brake shoe outward against the rotating drums, creating friction. Because the drum is bolted to the wheel, the wheel and tire assembly start to slow down. The brake hardware hold the shoe in place and maintain the correct shoe to drum alignment during braking. But wait, if the brake discs are far superior, why Volkswagen Group still use drum brakes on the latest electric cars? When it comes to electric cars, the things are changing slightly. Since most motors are mounted at the back of the electric car and they use regenerative brake, they provide enough direct braking power to the rear axle. Let's don't forget that over 80% of braking power using a vehicle is produced on the front axle. I think Volkswagen likely figured that out and want to save some upfront cost and make maintenance interval a little bit longer. Another reason is decreased rolling resistance. As these brakes pads have the tendency to drag on the rotors a small amount as the car coasts. Drum brakes, just by nature of their design, do not. The brand also say that drum brakes offer superior performance and are actively after a long period of disuse. Those long inactive periods being due to the EV regenerative braking system handling most of the stopping. Here we have to mention also that drum brakes will last longer than brake discs and they will need less maintenance, at least in the electric cars. Now, let's see what are disc brakes and how they work. All modern vehicle has at least disc brakes assembly behind each of the front wheel. Most of the new car those days use disc brakes on all four wheels. Each disc brakes consists of a caliper with a set of brake pads inside that mount over a disc shaped rotor. One of the car's wheel and tires assembly is held against the rotor with a set of lug nuts. An individual disc brakes operate as follow. When the driver activates the brakes, fluid from the master cylinders acts on the brake caliper. 
the caliper then squeeze the brake pad against the rotor creating friction because the rotor is bolted to the wheel the wheel and tires assembly start to slow down these brakes are far less complicated than drums making them easier to replace also these brakes weight less and outperforms drums in a variety of ways for example these brakes dissipate heat better and have a better performance at high speed or at repetitive brakes and acceleration also these brakes perform better in water or bad raining condition where it's able to squeeze water outside easier it is true that even if brake discs perform better in most condition they will be maintained more often than the drum brakes the conclusion is very simple for normal daily driving you will be more than fine with drum brakes in the rear and brake discs in the front from what we see now we expect in the future that more and more electric cars to use drum brakes at the rear due to the low resistance low maintenance and low cost for manufacturers of course performance electric cars like porsche taycan audi e-tron gt or tesla will always use these brakes because at high speed you will need a greater braking power in the end of course brake discs are better but you really need them so all i have to say guys is that manufacturers always test the cars and brakes before they take them out on sale if they choose to use drum brakes on the rear that means the car don't need more braking power on the rear and you should not worry too much i hope this video was helpful and interesting if you still have questions please ask me down below thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe like and share stay safe and see you in the next one bye guys